This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counsellors will help.
Jesus, we love you. We praise your name, oh God. Oh, you are the Adonai. Shela na maseke le la masaya na mosaya. Sheka na na masaya.
Somebody worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Makapushi la 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 handa la la. Yere wo shala la yaruza. Ika mahalo kusa ya mandiri la la. Ika sala la 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 la. Ika masanta katiri la la de. Ika mahasha ya mahaya busa. Ika pakata la la le yeleba. Ya ba 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 ba. Worship the Lord, shala la la. Ika ya manda la la shala la la. We lay our crowns, O God. We 
give you the praise. We give you the glory. We humble ourselves.
They never went beyond the clan. They never went beyond the county. Their name, they just existed. But their names never made an impact. But here we are. We celebrate the name of the Lord. I say here we are. We celebrate the name of the Lord. It is a name above every other name. When you mention the name, the demon trembles. When you mention the name, the sickness power. When you mention the name, every power of darkness must bow. Come on for the last time. I say celebrate the name. Celebrate the name. Give Jesus the glory. That we have that name. Let glory. As Paul said. Let everyone that glory. Glory in this. We glory in that name. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Welcome your neighbor in this service. Nimepakwa mafuta mabichi Bimbi ya
sisi ni washe ndio maana nina uhakika nitashinda haijalishi vita haijalishi mimi ndio maana ndio maana hata kama kuna pesa furahia kuna uhakika We may be seated in the name of Jesus. We're going to have news from the JCC TV. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Give a hand clap to JCC TV. Shalom. Welcome to our weekly announcements. This is Jesus Celebration Center. We are the lighthouse of Africa. We keep the entire continent ablaze for our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is with hearts full of gratitude that we extend a warm welcome to all who have gathered in the embrace of our spiritual home. May our time together be filled with grace, joy, and divine revelation. My name is Mwende Vivian Musioka. And I'm Karoki Kelvin. Well, for those who are worshiping with us for the first time, Karibuni Sana, do feel at home. Do not be in a rush to leave, however, after the service. Do remain behind briefly so as to meet with the duty pastor. And remember, we have a special gift just for you. As the gatekeepers and city watchmen, we are therefore required to pray. And therefore, we gather every morning in all our centers and branches from 4 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. for our morning glory services. Do purpose to attend. We have grace our services happening from Monday to Friday at Kenya Cinema and JCC Midtown as from 12 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. We urge you to attend and bring a neighbor, bring a friend, bring a colleague, bring a family member. There is a breakthrough that is found in prayer and fasting. And therefore, this whole year, we have a chain of prayer and fasting, which is as follows. Monday and Tuesday, women. Wednesday and Thursday, men. Friday and Saturday, singles. Sunday, the teenagers. It will be partial with drinks only. And here is our weekly program. On Monday, we have our PBG outreach, and on Monday to Friday, beginning from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., we have School of the Spirit for New Believers in all our centers and branches. We urge you to invite those who get saved during the outreach to attend the School of the Spirit. And on Tuesday, we have the Pamoja Bible Group, where the group members will decide on the best time of the day to meet, either early in the morning, lunchtime, or late in the evening. The reports will be sent to the leader of the servants or the area leader and to the secretary's office. The offerings collected will be banked via the till number 991070, and the account number will be PBG name of the group. The MPSA receipt will be sent to both the leader of the servants and the accounts office. 
On Wednesday, we have our Bible Focus service happening from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. or as from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in all our centers and branches. Come, let us hear the word of the Lord because it is in hearing and hearing the word that faith is grown. And our new order of service is as follows. Worker service from 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. English service from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Swahili service from 11.15 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. Family service from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Water baptism will be done on Sundays after every service. We have daily church outreach happening from Monday to Friday in two sessions, with the first session beginning from 10.30 a.m. running up to 1.30 p.m and the second session beginning from 3.30 p.m. up to 5 p.m. Prayers are to begin half an hour before the outreach, and we urge all members to register. Come, let us spread the gospel in all the ends of the world. And today all our centers and branches congregate at JCC CPC Bamburi from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. for our joint family miracle service. We urge all parents to collect the family offering envelopes for all of your children to be given during the service. Now the much-awaited Mombasa Big Crusade is eventually here with us. We will all gather as from Thursday to Sunday, the 28th to the 31st of March 2024 at VOK Grounds, beginning from 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Remember, we have an obligation to plunder hell and populate heaven. Come and let us do exactly that. Papa Wilfred Lai will have a meeting with those who will be serving during the Mombasa B Crusade on Monday 25th March at JCC Baxton Centre at 5.30 p.m. Everyone from the departments involved is expected to attend. That is the deacons, the ashes, protocol, choir, hospitality, security, media, technical and all the other departments. The Good Friday service will be on 29th of March 2024 from 10 a.m. in all centers and branches and in the evening all will gather at the crusade ground from 4 p.m. And on the 31st of March 2024, we will be given the World Outreach Offering. We are urging all to get the World Outreach Seed envelopes from the ashes during offering time. Now, as in the words of the psalmist in Psalms 133, how pleasant and delightful is it for brethren to gather together in unity. Therefore, we shall have our unity service on the 7th of April 2024, which will be happening as from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at JCC CPC Bamburi. All centers and branches will gather. The ladies' monthly meeting for all ladies in all our centers will be held on the 13th of April 2024 from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. in all our regions. That is the CPC Bamburi, West, South, Capital and Baxter Center. Only purpose to attend. There will be an interdenominational teens, youth and singles washer camp conference happening on the 10th to the 13th of April 2024 at JCC CPC Bamburi. Now, registration is ongoing at 1,200 Kenya shillings inclusive of lunch. And for those who would like to board on campus, it's 2,500 Kenya shillings, which will cover the accommodation and the meal fee. All these are payable through our M-Pesa pay bill number 991070, account WASHA24. And in line with that, all youth are requested to remain behind after the service so as to prepare for this conference. We are seeking to hire an accounts clerk. The purpose of this job is to perform bookkeeping and data entry duties and any other accounting related duties as may be assigned from time to time by the head of finance or any other person placed in authority over the incumbent. Successful candidates in this position should have no criminal records, born again, and spirit field. Interested applicants can send their applications and updated resume to hr at jccmombasa.org, not later than the 28th of March 2024. The Women on Fire Interdenominational Ladies Conference will be on the 7th to the 9th of August 2024, which will be held at JCCCPC Bamburi. Registration is ongoing at 1,500 Kenya shillings, inclusive of lunch, and 2,500 Kenya shillings for accommodation and meals. For more information, you can contact the following numbers. 0721251799 or 0722414826 or 0722740173 or 0762501875.
when men gather, something fruitful is birthed. And therefore, we have the men's interdenominational mega conference from the 27th to the 29th of August 2024 at CCCPC Bamburi. The registration is 1,500 with Lash Inclusive, while boarders who pay before the 31st of March 2024 will receive 20% discount charge 2,000 for meals and accommodation, while those after will be charged 2,500. All payments are done through the pay bill number 222 accounts number 170712. For more information, contact numbers are 07242 4682 or 0717035926. Now we have come to the end of our weekly announcements and Vivian. Yes, the long be. awaited Mombasa Big Crusade is happening on Thursday. It's happening. I do not know what you are expecting. Well, uh -huh. my expectation mm -hmm. is that to see God moving mightily uh -huh. and working mightily in people's lives. I want uh -huh. to see people's lives tra transformed. Mm -hmm. I want to see people receiving and embracing Christ and mm -hmm. rejoicing in Christ. There's so much more I'm expecting in my heart and I'm hoping that you who's watching are having an expectant heart mm -hmm. as I have. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? Now, I expect God to do that and more and I can assure you that yeah. he's going to do it. In our last crusade, he did that at Kitui mm -hmm. and we know he's going to plunder hell even in this uh, uh, crusade that we are anticipating. Now, that is all we had for you from our desk this week. As we leave, let us remember to give towards the Dorcas ministry. This is a ministry that supports the, our, the widows. The bugs are at the exits. Until next time. It's Kelvin Karoki. And my name is Mwende Vivian Musioka. Do have a lovely week. Shalom. Shalom. This is our family service. It is a time for God to do a new thing in your life. I don't know who came believing God for something. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. It doesn't matter what has been going on. God is going to turn it for good. There's going to be a turn around for things. <laughs> Tonight is, go, is a night of turnaround. <laughs> Give your neighbor high ten and tell them there's going to be a turnaround in your life. A turnaround in your ministry. A turnaround in many things. A turnaround in, turn in your finances. Tonight your story will change. I say tonight your story will change. God is here to change your story. I don't know who I am talking to, but I am, I am come to talk to the JCC family. I say God is going to change your story. I say he is here to change your story. If your neighbor is not excited about that move and find out that place If they are not excited, they are not excited about God. Hallelujah. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here. Moving in on me. Tell him. I worship you. I worship you. Lift up your hands and tell him you are here. Yes. I was.
even when I don't see it. Working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Even when I don't see it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Yeah! Yeah! Tonight he is working Even when you don't see it He is working Turning things around <laughs> Woo, Hallelujah Who is here tonight? Mother Center. Uh, Mama. Buxton. 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 Oh my God, they they love this side. They love this side. But today, today they are they are all, they are all over. I think they are beating everybody. Give Buxton a big, 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 big. And uh, I've not had any Vubuzelas tonight. Do we have people here from the West? West, 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 West. What happened to the West? I, oh, they are there. They are, they are here. They are here. Oh my God, they are here in the choir West. <laughs> Put your hands together. Let's appreciate the West. Ay, 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 and uh, there are only uh, one group of people that crosses the, the sea twice to get here. I said that the other day and uh, there were some people that were trying to correct me. I have lived in Mombasa for more, more, more than most of you. They come from the south. Kusini. They cross the they cross the sea by by ferry. Wanavuka bahari kwa ferry. And they cross the sea through the bridge. Alafu wanatumia daraja wanapovuka pande hii. Two times. Mara mbili. Do we have people that have crossed the Tuna bridge two times? Ambao wamevuka bahari mara mbili. The sea where are the people that have crossed the sea? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. They are here. Even as far as Ukunda. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, I tell you there is something happening. There is something happening in the in the in the in the south. Something is happening. And you know very soon. They will be crossing, they will be crossing only once. Like everybody else. Because they are about to have the longest bridge. They, they will come, be coming through the longest bridge in Africa. It, it, is, it is going to be ready by next month, I think. So it is going to be, it, they will come faster than people coming from Pakistan. Because it is, it is going to be all super highway. Sababu itakuwa ni barabara ya moja kwa moja. Up to here. Paka hapa. So your prayers have been answered. Waibu maumbieni wamejibiwa. 
Yes. Give people from the Watch south a big, a big, 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 big hand clap. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who am I forgetting? Nimesauna. <laughs> Forgetting JCC educational complex. Oh yes. They are here, they are here. Let's let's appreciate. This is the only school that I know that has the best discipline. The highest level of spirituality in any school in Kenya. And they and they want they want they want to fly and academically go. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Every year they are they they are going to every university in this country. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Tell that parent that is looking looking at me like they are questioning. Tell them, eh, watch a mother row. <laughs> Where does your child go to school? <laughs> My grandchildren go to this school. Yes, all of them. All my grandchildren. And if, if, if I had any, any children, they would be in this school. But my children's children, <laughs> they all are here. Sindio. And one of them who was here last year, she is uh, was it last year? Was it last year? She, last year, bad one. She, Mwaka juice. she is finishing her first year in the university. Anamaliza mwake wa, mwaka wake wa kwanza katika chuo kikuu. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Sijenge kwa, kwa wenzako. <laughs> Wakati kwako. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, let us love ourselves. When you are not proud of what you have, you will always live in a house that you call is yours, but it is not yours. Do we have any, any people from CPC here? Ay, 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all... Did I see Pastor Catherine? Is Pastor Catherine here? Shungaji Catherine, you hapa? Not past, not this one. See who not this Pastor Catherine, my other daughter. Yele from Bitiangu Mengine. Eh? Mtuapa Gospel Center. Uh, Are they here, Mtuapa Gospel Mtuapa Center? Mtuapa Wakohapa. Eh, I think there were floods. Nafukiri <laughs> Mafuriko. <laughs> that side drained. 
Did anybody hear the, the, the big uh, uh, thunderstorm? I think, I think it, it was coming from that direction. Because they have never, they have never missed a joint service. We are going to check, we are going to check on them after the service. Somebody shout glory. I say somebody shout glory. I say somebody shout glory. I say somebody shout glory. Say somebody shout glory. I say somebody shout glory. Today we give a special family offering Leo for for our children's protection you may be seated let me tell you something when the devil cannot get you he will try to get your children be wise as a parent let the, the anointing and the grace of this altar protect your children in school protect your children wherever they are Wacha mafuta ya madhibao haya na mahali hapa na nehema hii ikalinde watoto wako kwa shuleni na kokote waliko. Job understood this. Ayubu alielewa jambo hili. In Job chapter 1 and verse 5. Katika Ayubu 1:5. When God opened my eyes to this scripture. Na Mungu aliponifungulia macho yangu kupambanua andiko hili. I started I started immediately doing it. Nikaanza kutendeza kazi. And then then I I stood here and I said every month all, all of us parents we will bring an offering to the bill unto the Lord. The Bible says in Job 1, 1 5 so it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would descend and sanctify them. Ayubu angetumana na kuwatakasha. So this offering is not only for protection but also for sanctifying our children. Kwa hivyo sadaka hii tu si ulinzi peke yake pia ni ya utakaso kwa watoto wetu. He would rise early in the morning. Angerauka asubuhi na mapema and offer burnt offerings na kusongeza sadaka kuteketezwa according to the number of them all kulingana na idadi ya wao wote for he say kwa sababu alisema moyoni it may be when they come that my sons kwamba wanangu have seen wametenda dhambi and cast god in their hearts na kumfukuru mungu katika mioyo yao and the last part is a most important na kile kipengele cha mwisho ndicho muhimu sana that job did regularly Nivyo Ayubu alifanya mara kwa mara All my children are grown ups Watoto wangu washakuwa watu wazima But I give an offering for them every month Lakini licha hiyo na watolea sadaka kila mwezi Why Kwa nini Because I understand Kwa sababu naelewa the enemy does not like our families. Kwamba adui hapendezi na familia zetu. Look at your neighbor tell them neighbor. Mbia jirani. The enemy. Yule adui does not like your family. Hapendezi na familia yako. And so, kwa hivyo I sanctify them. Na watakasha I connect their lives and their families to this altar. Naunganisha maisha yao na familia zao kwa madhibao haya. Now if you if you didn't get an envelope for that get an envelope for each one of your children. Write write their name of that on that envelope. Andika majina yao kwa hiyo baasha kila moja kwa baasha yake. And we pray for these we they, we pray for these children. The envelopes. Zile bahasha. They end up in my office. Wishia ofisini mwangu. 
I will pray for these children. God to do what only him can do against the enemy who is against them. Akatende kile ambacho yeye peke yake Mungu awezaye kutenda mbali na kupinga kile adui anakusudia kuwatenda watoto hawa. So if you are ready you can bring it and lay it on this altar. Wewe kama uko tayari njo nayo uiweke katika madhibao haya. And the Lord God is going to bless you. I'm giving a testimony of my threes do like this. Nashuhudia kuhusu shuhuda wangu zile tatu fanya namna hii. Two days ago I received a distress call that my neighbor's house was on fire and the space between my my neighbor's house and my house is less than 5 feet. Nikapata simu ya dharura kwamba nyumba ya jirani yangu inachomeka na umbali katikati ya huwa wangu na huwa wa jirani kama fiti tano namna hii. I rushed home and I found 50 young men. Nikakimbia huko nikapata vijana barubaru kama 50 namna hii kwa idadi yao. Evacuating furniture and household stuff Waki... and, other, and others fighting the fire Waki... from, from spreading wakipigana kutoa na kuokoa vitu ndani ya nyumba yangu na wengine wakipingana na ule moto kujaribu kuuzima the fire brigade came and and started working on my house since the other house had been burned beyond saving gari ya mazima moto ikaja ikashughulikia kwangu kwa sababu ile nyingine nyumba jirani ilikuwa shachomeka kabisa the task was finished successfully and brethren showed up for a thanksgiving. Hiyo shughuli kamalizika vizuri na wapendwa hata wakatokeza kwa kutoa shukurani. And they offered to clean up the house. Na hata wakajitolea kusafisha nyumba. All the furniture was returned back. Samani zote za nyumbani kwangu zikaregeshwa tena and nothing was destroyed. Na hapakukuwa na kitu kilichoharibika katika mkasa ule. Nothing. Hakuna chochote. Nothing. Hakuna chochote. Somebody shout nothing. Mtu aseme hakuna chochote. This is a this is a mind blowing testimony. Huu ni ushuhuda mkubwa wa nguvu. 
nothing hakuna chochote was destroyed kilicho aribika because god kwa sababu mungu is watching over us anatutazama na kutulinda and watching over everything that has our name on it na kulinda kila kitu kilicho na jina letu kwalo somebody shout hallelujah mtu aseme hallelujah I have a message from the Lord. Nina ujumbe wa Bwana. Ah. Nimewapata. Amesema mwenyewe. Tazama 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 Yesu We can do nothing without you. We all the families that have been laid on this heart of the children of all these families. You watches over Israel. Wewe mwenye kuilinda Israel. You who does not slumber. Wewe usie sinzia. Neither do you sleep. Wala haulali. Watch over our children. Ukawalinde watoto wetu. Watch over our families. Ukalinde familia zetu. Do good to them, O God. Ukawatende mema e Mungu. Even those that have fallen out of the way. Hata wale walianguka kando ya njia. Bring them back to the way of the Lord. Wale katika njia ya Bwana. Even those that are struggling with issues of life. May the anointing of this altar. May that anointing bring a solution in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. I I thank you. And as we turn to your word Lord. Let your word be like fire. To consume everything. That has been designed by the enemy. To destroy us. Let faith come. Wacha imani kaje. Let every fear be broken. Na kila hofu na uoga ikavunjiliwe mbali. Let poverty and lack be destroyed. Wacha umaskini na upungufu uvunjwe. Let sickness and disease. Wacha magonjwa na maradhi be destroyed. Yakapate kuangamizwa. Use me as a vessel in your hands. Nitumie kama chombo mikononi mwako. I must decrease so that you can increase. Sina budi ya kupungua ili ukaongezeke. Let every word. Acha kila neno. Come forth seasoned with grace. Likatokeze likiwa limeongamanishwa na kuandamana na neema. 
in the name of Jesus Katika I pray. Jina la yesu ni meomba. And now God's people Na watu watu wa mungu wakasemi amina. I want to speak. Thank you very much, Asante Faith and your team. Let's Faith give this team a big, 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 big hand clap. Makofi mazuri. I want to speak tonight about God's plan for your life. Nitaka kunena jioni ya leo kuhusu mpango wa Mungu kwa maisha yako. God has a plan for your life. Mungu yuko na mpango kwa ajili ya maisha yako. He is thinking good. Yeye anakuwazia mema concerning your life. Kuyahusu maisha yako. He wants to give you hope. Anapendezwa kukupa tumaini. He wants to give you an expected end. Anataka kupatia tarajio lililo jema. And tonight, na usiku wa leo, I want to show you, nataka kukuonyesha how to live jinsi ya kuishi in that divine plan of God. Katika mpango huo wa kiungu wa Mungu. When God created man. Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu. He created man to live like God. Alimuumba mwanadamu akaishi kama Mungu. God lives by faith. Mungu huishi kwa imani. God has never lacked anything. Mungu hajawahi pungukiwa na chochote kile. God has never fallen sick. Mungu hajawahi gonjeka. Is anybody hearing me? Nasikia, nasema, nini hapa? God has sufficiency. Mungu ana utoshelezi of everything. Juu ya kila chochote kile. God is a all sufficient God. Mungu ni wa utoshelezi kwa vitu vyote. And he created men to live like him. Na alimuumba mwanadamu, huyu mwanadamu akaishi kama yeye Mungu. And for men to live the way God intended for him to live. Kwa sababu kuishi vile Mungu aliyokusudia wao kuishi, man needs the word of God. Mwanadamu analihitaji neno la Mungu. The word of God is supposed to be a lamp unto our feet. Neno la Mungu linafaa kukua taa kwa miguu yetu. So that we may walk ili tukatembee and not stumble. Na tusipate kujikwa. David said in Psalms 119. Daudi akasema katika Zaburi ya 119. That I word have I hidden in my heart. Kwamba neno lako nalilificha moyoni mwangu that i may not sin against nisipate kukutenda dhambi god is a righteous god mungu ni mungu mwenye haki number 2 ya pili he created man to have his nature of choosing only to do what is right pia kamwambia yeye kukua na ule uwezo kuamua na akaamue kile kilicho chema ama kilicho sawa Man was never supposed to live by guesswork. Mwanadamu akupangiwa kuishi kwa kubahatisha mambo. Man was supposed to live making the right choices for life. Mwanadamu alipangiwa na Mungu akawe wa kufanya maamuzi ya sawa katika maisha. Every time you make the right choice. Kila wakati unapofanya chaguo la sawa prosperity ufanisi becomes a reality inafanyika kuwa halisi kwako prosperity ufanisi i want us to read the first the third letter of john a very very familiar portion of chapter to some waraka watatu wa yohana andiko tunalo lijua sana because My prayer Was, for everyone under the anointing of my voice tonight. Hombi langu kila mmoja wenu ulio chini ya upako wa sauti yangu jioni hii leo. Is the same prayer that John prays. Ndilo ombi hili ambalo Yohana aliomba pia. For an elder. Kwa mzee huyu. The beloved guy. Mpenzi gayo. Whom I love in truth. Ninayempenda katika kweli. I can say with John. Naweza kusema kwa furaha. 
to my beloved sons and daughters. Kwa penzi binti zangu na wana wangu. Whom I love. Ninawapenda with truth. Na ukweli ama udhati wa moyo. Look at your neighbor tell them Ambie jirani yako your daddy loves you Papa anakupenda If nobody loves you kama hakuna anayekupenda you need to know Unapaswa ujue God loves you Mungu anakupenda and I love you too Nami nakupenda pia And 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 If anybody does not like it it is up to them I still love you. Na kama watu wapendezi na hiyo haijalishi nakupenda hivyo hivyo. Beloved I pray. Wapendwa naomba. This is my prayer. Hili ndilo ombi langu that you all may prosper. Kwamba nyote mkafanikiwe. How will you all prosper? By being righteous. Kwa kuwa wenye haki. For righteousness exalts a nation. Kwa sababu haki uliinua taifa. Righteousness will exalt you. Haki itakuinua. I say right na sema haki exhort you itakuinua because when you live in righteousness kwa sababu unapoishi katika haki you give the holy spirit an opportunity unampatia roho mtakatifu fursa to be your spirit guide kukua kiongozi wako wa kiroho to guide you in every decision you make katika kila maamuzi unayofanya There are many people that think that they only need the Holy Ghost to speak in tongues. Watu wengine wanafikiri tu unamhitaji Roho Mtakatifu unapotaka kuzungumza kwa lugha peke yake. You need the Holy Ghost. Unamhitaji Roho Mtakatifu to guide you. Kukuongoza. Every successful human being. Kila mwanadamu yote aliyefanikiwa. Everyone who prospers. Mtu yote anayefanikiwa. They have a spirit guide. Wana uongozi wa kiroho mahali. It may not be the Holy Ghost. Wenda sio hata ni Roho Mtakatifu kama kiongozi wa kiroho. Lakini wana uongozi fulani wa kiroho. Look at your neighbor to other neighbor. Na kwa jirani if they can succeed. Kama wanaweza wao kufanikiwa with a spirit guide na roho fulani anayeongozwa holy. Ambaye hata si mtakatifu. How about you? Je, kuhusu wewe itakuwaje? Who are the holy Ulie spirit na guide? mtakatifu mwenye kukuongoza. Nobody. Hakuna yeyote should fail. Anayepaswa kuanguka ama kushindwa no kimaisha. Believer, hakuna muamini. No child of God. Hakuna mtoto yote wa Mungu. Should fail. Anayepaswa kushindwa katika maisha. I pray that you may prosper. Ninaomba kwamba ufanikiwe. In all things. Katika mambo yote. Prosper. Ufanikiwe. Do well. Uendelee vema. Succeed. Ufanikiwe. Succeed. Ufanikiwe. I prophesy. Ninatabiri hivi. Success. Ufanisi. Over my sons and my daughters. Na binti zangu. May you succeed in all things. Ukafanikiwe katika vitu vyote. If you are in school. Kama uko shuleni, may you succeed in your academics. Katika elimu yako. If you are in business. Kama uko katika biashara, may you succeed ufanikiwe. in making money. Katika kuchuma pesa. If you are a professional. Kama wewe ni mwanataaluma, may you climb the ladder to the top. Ukakwe katika ngazi hizo na madaraka hayo mpaka I release grace. Neema for prosperity. Yakufanikiwa. Is an anointing sitting on How me right now. Sasa. I release upon you. Yako. This is the third month Huu ni mwezi of this year. Ya mwaka huu. And it is a month. Na ni mwezi. 
for divine manifestation may the Lord God Almighty whom we serve may he pick you from where you are and cause you to make one decision that is going to turn everything around turn all what was going wrong to bring profit may the Lord God Almighty according to Isaiah 48 17 may he teach you to make profit in everything that you do my prayer for you is that you may prosper you may prosper you may be successful I, I release that anointing I say I release that anointing I say I release that anointing I say I release that anointing let me tell you what you need watch any kwambi on a as a believer kama mwamini Everything you need to succeed is hidden in the word of God. The word that we preach is the word of faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 the Bible there says since we have the same same spirit of faith Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, you have the same spirit of faith. The one that was in the apostles, the one that was in Jesus, that same spirit, the spirit of faith is in you. And what does that spirit help you to do? According to what is written. Written where? In the word of God. I believe. I believe. I believe you are a believer believe the word of God it may not make sense because it can only be spiritually designed just believe it I am giving you an advice just believe the word whatever the word tells you do it. Do what the word says. Don't be a hearer only. James says. When you become a hearer only. And not a doer of the word. You deceive yourself. This is why. Many believers. Are not prospering. Because they deceive themselves. They sit and hear the word. They sit and hear the word. They take that word and they live the word. They know it in their head, but they don't practice the word. The moment you begin to practice the word, the word begins to work because the word works. It is the word of faith. Faith never fails. I'm releasing the anointing. As you hear this, catch faith. It will protect faith will protect you it will protect you from your mind your greatest enemy is not the devil your greatest enemy is you your mind will control you and limit you and make you an ordinary man though the plan of God for your life 
maisha yako for you to be peculiar wa to you for you to well, do extraordinary things because you know God and the people who know their God Daniel 11:32 they shall be strong the people the people I don't know why I'm talking to but the people who know their God they shall be strong Somebody shout weakness is not my portion. Why are people weak? Kwanini watu wako dhaifu dhaifu? Because they think that way. Kwa sababu wanajidhania hivyo. And they think that way because somebody told them. Na wanajidhania hivyo kwa sababu kuna mtu aliwaambia hivyo. Somebody told them. Mtu mtu fulani aliwaambia. You can't make it. Wewe uwezi kuwai kimaisha. Somebody told them. You are not bright enough. Wewe hautoshi kiakili. Somebody told them. Fulani aliwaambia. You failed. Wewe ulishindwa. Because you sat for an exam. Uliangua kwa sababu uliandika mtihani fulani. And you didn't score an A. Ukufikia alama ya A. Somebody told you. Aliwaambia. And you believe. And because you believe. Sababu uliwaamini. Now you are out of the plan of God. Wewe umetoka kwa mpango wa Mungu. You are struggling. Wewe unangangana. To leave. I came to tell you. Nimekuja kukuambia. The devil is a liar. And the Bible says, Let all men be liars. God remaineth true. Whoever told you that you are a failure is a liar. Because when God saved you, He put in you a spirit to guide you. The spirit of God is wiser than any professor. The spirit of God knows all things. The spirit of God has an ability to design all the spirit of God is the spirit of might. Look at your neighbor, tell them neighbor. You are looking at somebody that you may not recognize after three days. Somebody is going to catch this thing. And you will be like a new man. You will do what you have not been able to do. Because the plan of God for your life is that you may prosper and be in good health. That you may prosper in all things. You may prosper. You may prosper in all things. You may succeed. Ah, I say you may succeed. Everything you imagine to do. Kila chochoto unachoweza kufanya. It's possible. Kinawezekana. It's possible. I say it's possible. You have the faith, the spirit of faith that was in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you what that spirit of faith does. That spirit of faith believes and then he speaks. He believes. Ye uamini, and then he speaks. Alafu ye unena. What you need. Kile unacho itaj. Is in your mouth. Kiko kinyuani mwako. The power of life. Ule uweza wa maisha na uhai. The power of life. Uweza wa uhai. Is in your tongue. Uko katika ulimi wako. Tonight. Usiku wa leo. You are going to speak. Unaenda kunena. To every mountain. Kwa kila mlima. You are going to speak. Mark chapter 11. 
kumi na moja. Aya, aya. Are you with me? Uko pamoja nami. Verse 11. Mstari wa kumi na moja. And Jesus went into the temple. Yes, okay. Jesus went into Jerusalem into the temple. Okay. So when he had looked around at all things as the hour was already late, he went out to Bethany with the 12. Na yakaingia Yerusalemu hata ndani ya hekalu na alipokwisha kutazama yote pande zote kwa kuwa ni wakati wa jioni akatoka kaenda Bethania pamoja na wale tunashara verse 12 Sari wa the next now the next day when they had come out of bethany he was hungry hata asubuhi yake walipotoka bethania aliona njaa and seeing from afar akiona kwa mbali you must begin to see things lazima uanze kuona vitu you must begin to see lazima uanze kuona vitu your neighbor, ambia jirani yako your spiritual eyes macho yako ya kiroho your eyes of understanding macho yako ya ufahamu wako need to be enlightened yanapaswa kutiwa nuru so that you may know Hili, ukajue the things that are in store for you. Ephesians chapter 1. You may know the things that are in store for you. Your eyes. Your eyes. He saw from afar. The fig tree. Go back to go back to go back to Mark 11 verse 2. From verse 13. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something in it. That he may find what? Something. Why? Because the tree, kwa sababu ule mti, the fig tree, mti watini, and leaves, ulikuwa na majani. It looked like it had something. Ulionekana kana kwamba una kitu. And when he came to it, alipo karibia, he found nothing but leaves. Hakuona kitu ila majani. Look at the next statement. Angalia usemi unaufotia pale. For it was not the season. It was not the season. Mana si wakati ama majira for figs. Watini. What is going on in the mind of Jesus? Yesu hapa na wazani ni katika halihi. This fig tree. Mti huu watini has got figs. Una 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 matunda ya tini. It can't be blossoming haiwezi kuwa umenawiri na matawi ya kuvile na iwe hauna kitu so he came kwa hivu wakaja to get something from it to eat aye apate kitu kutoka kwa ke ili ale because he was hungry kwa sababu alikuwa na nja and what happens basi kuchendeka nini he spoke to the fig tree. Akanena na ule mtini. Spoke to it. Akanena nao. Many many years ago. Miaka mingi liyo pita. God opened my eyes. Mungu aliye fungua macho yangu. To the truth. Kwa ili kweli. That everything. Kwa mba kila kitu. Hears the word of faith. Hua kina shikia neno. Everything. Kila kitu. A mountain. Mlima will hear the word of faith. Utalisikia neno la imani. And it will obey. Na huo mlima utatii. A tree. Mti will hear the word of faith. Utaisikia neno la imani. You say they don't have ears. Unasema haina masikio. That is your problem. Hiyo shida yako hiyo. Everything has got ears. Kila kitu kina masikio. Stones of ears. Mawe pia yana masikio. Your problems of ears shida zako hizo zina masikio your sickness 
Magonjwa yako has got ears. Yana masikio. But they only hear lakini hizo huwa zinasikia the word of faith. Neno la imani. That's why God speaks to everything. Ndio manake Mungu hunena na kila kitu. Nothing. Hakuna chochote as ears. Ambacho kina masikio. I said nothing. Nasema hakuna kitu ambacho patupo. Eh. Yeah. Where there is nothing mahali hakuna kitu that nothing hicho, kitu hicho ambacho hakiko as ears kina masikio pia This is why he stood up ndio manake akasimama and in the midst of nothing na katikati ya mahali patupu he said let there sem- be pakawe and the nothing heard na kile ambacho ni kitupu kikasikia pia and nothing produce light na kile ama patupu pakatokeza ama pakaza nuru and nothing produce the earth na patupu and the stars and the moon and the ardhi nyota pahari kila kitu they came from nothing ili toka mahali amna kitu a word of faith neno la imani the word of god neno la mungu was spoken ili tamkwa and nothing na happened na hali ambapo pakwa the word of faith neno la imani ai everything kila kitu including nothing hata mahali tunasema hakuna kitu hears the word of faith inasikia na kusikia neno la imani so he said to the fig tree kwa hivyo akamwambia ule mtini because you lied to me kwa sababu umenidanganya oh liars must die waongo wote lazima wafe in including you mpaka wewe pia mtini this morning asubuhi ya leo we were in acts chapter Tujiko, chapter 5 matendo 5 when you lie to the holy spirit ukimdanganya roho mtakatifu you die unakufa so kwa hivyo he said akasema You lie in fig tree. Wewe mtini mwongo. No one will eat from you again. Hakuna atakaye kula kutoka kwako tena. And he went away. Na akaenda zake. The following day. Siku iliyofuatia. The fig tree was dead. Huo mtini ulikuwa umenyauka. Tonight. Siku leo. There are things. Kuna vitu that have been lying to you. Ambavyo vimekuwa vinakudanganya danganya. They must die. Lazima vife. Amen. Look at your neighbor tell them neighbor. Ambia jirani. There are things that have been lying Una to you. Kuna vitu vimekuwa Kill them. Uwa vitu hivyo. Kill them. Viue. You are quiet. Uko kimya sana. Talk to your neighbor. Ongea na jirani yako. Ask yapu. them do you have some things? Ulize kuna vi, una vitu wewe that have been lying to you. Ambavyo vimekuwa vinakudanganya. Eh? Kill them. Viue. Three things. Vitu vitatu. We will kill and go home. Tutaua na ndio twende nyumbani. Number one. Ya kwanza. We will kill the spirit of luck. Tutaua roho ya upungufu ama kuishiwa. I am anointed to kill this thing. Nimepakwa kuua kitu hiki. Somebody say me too. Utaseme na mimi pia nimepakwa. You have the same spirit. Una roho yule yule. Number two. Ya pili. We must kill. Lazima tuue every sickness, kila magonjwa and every disease. Na kila maradhi. You are not going to be sick this year. Hautakuwa mgonjwa mwaka huu. I just told you how to kill it why don't you kill it now? Ay, ay, ay. 
talk to it. Ongea nacho. The sickness that has not yet come. Ugonjo hata mba ujaja badu. Tell it you Una cannot umbi. come to me. Hawezi nifikia. You are dead. Usha kufa tayari. How are you going to live in health? Utaishije katika afya. By killing. Kwa kuwa. It cannot survive. Hakiwezi kusimama. So every morning. Kwa hivyo kila ashubu. When you wake up. Unapoamka. Speak to it. Ongea nayo ya. And say. Na useme. I am healed. Nimepona. From my head. Kutoka kichwani mwangu. Down to the source of my feet. Sini ya miguu yangu. Sickness and disease. You are dead. Usha kufa. Number three, ya tatu, we are going to kill fear. Tunaenda kuwa uoga, hofu. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Isaiah arubaini na moja, mstari wa kumi. I can just stop in the first two words. Naeza simamia tu katika ilo nena la kwanza. Fear not. Siogope. Look at your neighbor. Angalia jirani yako. Tell them this is how you kill you kill fear. Mwambie hivi ndivyo unavyouua uoga. By fearing not. Kwa kuto kuogopa. You kill fear by not fearing. Unaua uoga kwa kuto kuogopa. I release upon you the spirit of might. Ninaachilia juu yako roho wa ukuu. May you be filled with the spirit that was in Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and Daniel and our Lord Jesus Christ. Fear not. I am with you. Be not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes. I will help you. I will uphold you. With my righteous right. And God is saying to you, fear not. Whatever you are afraid of, let it die. Let it die. Those enemies that you are afraid of, they are nothing. How ni bure. You want to see it? It is there in this scripture. Verse, verse eleven. Verse eleven. Verse eleven. Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be. They shall be. What a kuanini. They shall be. They shall be. Your enemies are nothing. I say your enemies are nothing. That's why you shouldn't be afraid. Because your enemies are nothing. You are afraid of what is supposed to fear you. Can you take a minute and kill it? Yeah, kill it. Tell it now. God has strengthened me to deal with you. You will be ashamed. They will be ashamed. They will be disgraced. They are as nothing. Nothing. Bure kabisa. Bure kabisa. I like that bure kabisa. Nothing. They are like nothing. They are like, like, like nothing. Hallelujah. The righteous shall be as bold as lions. Lions are not afraid of even Elephants. Simba ata wa ogopi ndovu wenyewe. 
You are afraid of big things because they are big. Unaogopa vitu vikubwa kwa sababu ni vikubwa. They are nothing. Hivyo ni vitu bure kabisa. Bure. They are nothing. Wao si kitu. You are afraid of of people. Unaogopa watu. Who boast and, 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 and threaten you and intimidate you from now? Look at them at the face and tell them, I cannot deal with you. You are too nothing for me to waste my time. Those three things. Fear. Hofu. Must die. Lazima ife. In your life. Katika maisha yako. You must have no fear. Lazima upaswe usiwe na hofu yoyote. Lack. Upungufu. Lack. Upungufu. Must die. Lazima ufe. Sickness. Magonjwa. And disease. Na marabi. No place in your house. Hazina nafasi kwako. No place in your house. Hazina nafasi kwako. And if you are sick, na kama wewe ni mgonjwa, right now. Sasa, let that sickness die. Mgonjwa ufe. If you have a sick person, kama una mtu mgonjwa, I command that sickness that is vexing them, unawatesa to die Ukafe. by tomorrow kesho. the doctors will not Ma know what happened I say by tomorrow Jesus spoke to the fig tree yes, and it looked like it didn't hear you do not understand Uwelewi. Mark 11 Marko 11 24 Shina Whatsoever thing you desire Choto tamanisho when you pray Unapoomba believe Amini believe Amini believe Amini believe Amini that you receive Kwamba unapokea and you will have them utapata vitu hivyo The fig tree Ule mtini continued looking Uliendelea kuonekana like it was okay Kana kwamba uko sawa But my bible tells me yangu ananiambia The next day Siku iliyofuata in verse 22 Sura 22 The next day Siku iliyofuata as they were passing there Walikuwa kupita pale The fig tree Ule mtini and with that down to his roots and Peter said to Jesus Rabbi see the fig tree that you cast that you cast that you cast that you cast it has dried up to the roots to the roots Are you in verse 22? In verse 23. Jesus said to them, Yesu akawaambia, Have faith. Kweni na imani. Have faith. Kawe na imani. Verse 22. 22. Verse 22. The fig tree has withered. In verse 21. Verse 22. Verse 22. Jesus says. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. I'm closing here. And tell your neighbor. Have faith. That's all you need. Have faith in God. Trust him. Trust him. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust him. Have faith in God. And he says, 
For I say to you, if you will have faith, you can speak to the mountain, this mount, and say to it, be thou removed and cast into the sea. And if you say it, and if you say it, and do not doubt in your heart, Whatever you say, Chote unachosema, and you do not doubt, na usione shaka, it happens. Yatatendeka. That is the key. Huo funguo ndio huo. To success. Kwa ufanisi unawitaji. Everything that is standing against you. Kila chochote kinacho kukabili kukupinga. You can make it nothing. Waweza kukifanya kuwa kitubure. I say it is nothing. Nasema inakuwa ni kitubure kabisa. It is standing against you. Kimesimama kukukabili. Making you feel uncomfortable. Kujisikia uwea huko mstare tena. God is saying. Mungu anasema. It's nothing. Kitu ito ni bure. It's nothing. Ni bure kabisa. He's saying it's nothing. Sema ni bure. Fear not. Usiogope. I am with you. If you don't feel like you are with somebody, God has said, I am with you. If God is with you, you are stronger than you feel. We're going to kill things now. The first thing we kill ni magonjwa mm. na maradhi mm. put your put your hand Weka on your head wake mkono wako juu ya kichwa chako shout oh god sema e hey, mungu shout again oh god sema e hey, mungu you are with me wewe upamoja nami Every sickness, kila magonjwa, every disease, kila maradhi, that is, ambao yako, and that is to come, na yale ataka ukuja, I take charge and authority, mamlaka, and I stop it now, na ya komesha sasa, I curse it, na na ya lani, now, sasa, Kufani From your roots Kutoka kwa mizizi yenu Die Kufani From your roots Kutoka kwa mizizi yenu Die Kufani From your roots Kutoka kwa mizizi yenu This year Mwaka huu This body mwili huu will not entertain sickness. Hautachukuliana na magonjwa. I am surrounded. Nimezingirwa. Oh around this body. Mwili wote huu wangu. You have no access. Hamna nafasi. Sickness Magonjwa And disease Na maradhi You have no access Amna nafasi ya kuingia You are dead Musha kufa Lift both of your hands and thank God Nyo mikone ya kumiwili na mshukuru mungu Half a minute thank God Now celebrate your victory. I say celebrate. To me wangapi? Moja peke yake. Nilikuwa nafikiria tuliwafia. Bado. Bado. Haya. Where does your fear stay? 
shika kichwa tena ndio <laughs> hofu thoughts of fear mawazo ya uoga die kufeni from your roots kutoka kwa mizizi yenu you are nothing ninyi sasa ni bure nothing bure kabisa that's what you are yani hiyo ndio nafasi yenu from now kutoka sasa you have no place hamna nafasi in this body katika mwili huu my mind nia yangu is renewed imeuishwa in the word of god katika neno la mungu i will only think nitawaza tu success ufanisi prosperity ufanikiwa peace amani victory ushindi you are defeated ninyi mmeshindwa and i slaughter you now na ninawachinja sasa die kufeni in jesus name katika jina la yesu lift up both of your hands kone yako miwili sasa Your story is changing. Your story is changing. In three days, you will be like a new person. You will be utakuwa like Saul kama Shauli when he met with the son, when he met with the prophet alipokutana na manabii he started to prophesy and now sasa, i have met with you nimekutana na wewe and the spirit of prophecy na roho wa unabii which is the spirit of christ Christo, is working mightily in you anatenda kwa ukuu those words that you have been speaking are prophetic niakinabi they are prophetic niakinabi they are prophetic niakinabi they are pros- prophetic niakinabi oh hallelujah the third thing kitu cha tatu the spirit of luck roho wa upungufu do your hands like this I don't know whether you heard what God said at the beginning of the year. Proverbs 22:29 Hold your hands like this. Say I will excel. Sema nitafanikiwa in the works of my hands you have a renewed mind say i will excel in the works of my hands everything i touch from now i have faith that it will prosper kitu hicho kitafanikiwa god has taught me mungu amenifundisha how to make profit sisi ya kuchuma faida there will be no more loss hapata kuwa na hasara tena i touch a small thing nikigusa kitu kidogo tu it becomes big kinakuwa kikubwa i touch it with my hands nikigusa kwa mikono yangu it becomes big kinafanyika kikubwa Look at your neighbor tell them do you see a man who excels in his work katika kazi yake tell them do you see 
Don't talk to them like you are talking to you are talking to them about somebody else. Ask them. Do you see a man who excels in his works? Talk to your neighbor. I told you unless you speak you will not get results. You must speak the word. God has already blessed your hands. So you are that man. I say you are that man. Do you see? Ask your neighbor, do you see? A man who excels in his works. If they didn't see you, tell them, neighbor, you are looking at a man who excels in the work of his hands. Nothing that I touch remains small. Churches are going to explode because there are pastors here and they had their hands like this and they receive now they touch the ministry it can remain small it explodes there are business people here they had their hands like this they receive the blessing whatever they touch it explodes I won't. 
your prosperity to pass. You are walking in the path of victory. From now, you flow. You flow in prosperity. Money will locate you. Businesses will locate you. They will look for you. They will look for you. Because your hands have been blessed by the Lord. And you are the man who excels in the work of your hands. I want you to take an offering. Don't sit down. Listen to me. God gives money to give us. I'll say it again. God Mungu gives money pesa to give us. In other words, mingine, God Mungu will give you seed kupambegu, to sow. Second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 10. Second Corinthians 9. Listen to me. Ashes don't get busy until I tell you. I don't want people just to give their offering as a formality. I want you to begin a new chapter tonight. That all what you give will come back to you speedily. Multiply many times. How many people want to see that happen? So pay attention. Everything in the kingdom has got protocols. Your offering. Which you are giving Unayotoa can come back to you in three hours katika masama tatu from now kutokea sasa multiplied many times. I want you to hear me. By the time I live here to my car and you can follow me if you want to what I am going to give right now by the time I get to the car it will have come back. Not what I have given. Multiply. If you want, you can follow me. I will show you. Mine comes back. And it comes back speedily. How does that happen? Here in the church. When you give, Unapotoa. you must give by faith. Lazima utoe kwa imani. Giving by faith utoa kwa imani. is believing Ni kuamini. the word of God. Neno la Mungu. Luke 638 Luka is a hundred percent true. Kwa mba neno ilo ni kweli mia kwa mia. Give. Toa. It shall come back to you. Kwa kotena. When? Lini. Whenever you want it to come. Wakati ule unataka irudi kwako. Me, I like mine to come Mimi before I sleep. Mimi yangu irudi kabla sijalala. <laughs> can I tell you the truth? Kwambie kweli. And you can come and check my phone. Na unaweza potia simu yangu. I gave 40,000, 20,000 in the worker service, 20,000 in the English service. 
All that money, as I stand here, it has come back more than double, more than double, as I stand here right now. Does anyone want to check my phone? My name is Lion and I don't lie. So I'm not trying to collect an offering. I told you, I pray for you that you may prosper in all things. This is the cry of my heart. I do not want to be a pastor of people who are always struggling. You're not going to sit in this anointing and begin to behave like what we teach is a lie. It's not about how much you give. It is about how much you believe in the word of God. Second Corinthians 9 10 he says he gives seed to the soul. And bread. Seed and bread to the eater. His righteousness endures forever. God is a righteous God. The moment the church begins to treat that, we are not in a hurry. Yes, he is a Now may he who supplies what? See to the sower. If you do not sow, you will never receive seed. Before you can receive seed, you must be a giver of offering. And your offering that you give, you must believe. Luke 6 38. When I give it, it will come back to me in good measure. Rest down. And all of you People who put money in my phone. I can tell you more than 90% of them I don't know them. Karibu asilimia 90 au wasiwajui ni akina nani. Because I believe. Kwa sababu mimi naamini. Man was give me lazima ni pesa when I give to God. Nikimpa Mungu somebody mtu will give me money. Atanipa pesa. I don't have to work for them. Si lazima nifanyie kazi. I don't have to do anything for them. Si lazima nifanyie kitu kwao. They must fulfill that scripture. Must. When you have got options, you stay in the same place. I don't know that was the end of Omar. Since that day, I told the devil to sleep in the bed. I, 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 had, a, I had malaria. I was shaking like this. malaria. Kutoka 1984. <laughs> Zina umanga watu hapa Mombasa wanalazwa Mombasa hospital zina niuma kila wakati lakini malaria haina nafasi katika huu mwili I had the spirit say to me we were living in Kiembeni nikona shikimbeni he told me kaniambia you have been saying you are healed umekuwa unasema umepona the sick are in bed wagonjwa wako tandani 
act like you know that you are healed Hebu fanya tu kana kwamba unajua ati umepona I got up nikainuka I went to take a shower nikaenda nikaoka ma, ma, mama akaniuliza unaenda wapi namwambia ninaenda kazi akaniambia lakini wewe ni mgonjwa nikamwambia mimi si mgonjwa nimeacha shetani kitanda alalange hapo yeye ndiye mgonjwa I was so weak. Nilikuwa dhaifu. I could not drive. Hata sengeza endesha gari. I got into Kenya bus. Kapanda bus ya Kenya bus. To go to my office. Kwenda ofisini kwangu. My office was in Bima Tower 13th 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 floor. Orofa ya 13 katika jengo la Bima Towers. By the time I was getting off the bus. Nikishuka kwa bus. At post office. Pale post office. Completely healed. Nikiwa nimepona kabisa. Hapakuwa na kitu. And from that time na kutokea wakati today. Paka leo. I have never suffered from malaria. Kongwa na malaria. Ninaamini yanga hivyo pia pesa. Ile niliamini shetani alale kwa kitanda. Umaskini nao ninaulalaza. Niliulaza kitanda. Nikawaambia wale watu ambao wanataka kuwa hawana pesa mimi si mmoja wao nikamwambia nikaambia umaskini sikia nataka uongee na hiyo kitu uiambie sikia mimi si wale watu wa kukaa bila pesa ambia ambia lak lak ongea ongea, ongea na lak mwambie lak nisikize vizuri mimi sio wale watu wa kukaa bila pesa. Waje nikwambie. Nikwambie shida ingine. Ambia huo ambia hiyo laki ambie mimi singojei mwisho wa mwezi. Pesa yangu inakuja sasa hivi. Kuna mtu atakupatia pesa? <laughs> Sema ya kwangu <laughs> inakuja baada ya ibada hii. Sijui kama unaitaka hiyo wakati huo ama unaitaka ukiwa hapa hapa. Unajua ukiamini hiyo ati itarudi ikiwa multiplied many times huwezi kutoa kidogo ukiwa na nyingi unatoa ile nyingi ile hii irudi in good measure measure ya ile ambao umepima yangu inakujanga hizo kwa ma, kwa maelfu na maelfu kwa sababu ninapimanga kipimo cha 20000 20 napimanga hiyo kipimo na ninaanza kupima saa hii hiyo kipimo kutoka asubuhi ninapima hiyo As, kesho asubuhi napima hiyo mshahara wangu hauwezi kufanya hiyo aitosh uko tayari si si ofu imeondoka hata ofu ya kutoa si imeondoka sasa nataka uchukue sadaka yako Mungu anasema nijaribuni katika hii mjaribu hata kama hata kama una imani mjaribu Ninyi mnataka kujaribu ama ama mko hapa. Mnataka kuchukua kitu. Haya chukueni, chukueni. Ni wewe wa kuabudiwa ni wewe. Haya yaboka salama. Ni wewe wa kuabudiwa ni wewe. Wa kupewa sifa na utukufu na heshima ni wewe mwenye nguvu na uweza ni wewe eh ngoja kidogo uko tayari nataka kuimba hiyo wimbo tukitoa tutaimba huo wimbo sio mimi ninaimba 
kama unatoa chukua baasha kama unatoa kutoka kwa simu kama mimi take out a, take an envelope from the ashes chukua baasha kutoka kwa ashes leo tume leo tumeenda over and above the time na shetani ndiye amepoteza peke yake Somebody shout hallelujah. Hii yeah. baada inaitwa family. Ongea na hiyo sadaka. Say say, say to it. Niambie wewe sadaka yangu. uhitaje kwa 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 ile unatoa kama ni elfu unayaambia wewe elfu yangu we, kama ni kama ni 1500 unayaambia wewe 1500 yangu unaongea nayo unayaambia eh, ninaku, ninakuweka katika kikapu saa hii lazima urudi kwa haraka ukiwa umechungulishwa mara nyingi ongea nayo usingojee maombi wewe ndio uta, wewe ndio utaongea na hiyo ya kwako na hiyo maombi inatosha Ashas watakuja na watusaidie. Ni wewe wakuabudiwa ni wewe. Araba gura ba. Ni wewe wakuabudiwa ni wewe. Ni wewe wakuabudiwa Wakupewa sifa na utukufu na heshima ni wewe Mwenye Mungu na uweza ni wewe Ni wewe wakuabudiwa ni wewe Tunakuabudu Bwana ni wewe Toleo yetu tunakuabudu wewe kuabudiwa ni wewe ni wewe ni wewe kuabudiwa ni wewe wakupewa sifa na utukufu na heshima ni wewe wenye nguvu na uwezo Listen to me. 
this week Jumahili. we are taking time Tunachukua to pray for the crusade. Kuombea crusade those who are fasting tomorrow Wale kesho. it is the ladies Ni wadada. right Sawa. deal with all the demons Tumbana. that hold people from coming to the crusade release them that ground will be filled I see it completely filled to capacity you need to be there so that when you stand before God you will reap benefit from having served in that crusade. So 5.30 30 we will meet at Pakistan. We will divide ourselves in groups. You will be trained according to what you can do. Utafundishwa kulingana na kile ambacho unaweza kufanya katika Those who can do ushering, wa, wa wale ambao watafanya ushari you'll be trained to usher utafundishwa kazi hiyo those who will take care of the new believers wa wale watakayeshughulikia waamini wapya you will be trained pia utafundishwa to, 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 to take care of the yu. new believers shughulikia waamini wapya and god is going to be glorified na mungu atatukuzwa so every morning from whatever center you come from from whatever branch you come from be in the place of prayer at four say amen if you are here we are all going to take our full attention the whole of this week so to pray for hili lote tutazingatia sana kuhakikisha tumeombea crusade iko ndani stand up on your feet simama kwa miguu yako we are going home now tunaenda nyumbani sasa how many people uh, your story has changed ngapi hadithi yako imebadilika testify to your neighbor tell them neighbor you may not know me uenda usinijue in three days, I will be like a different man. Lift up both of your hands. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. I speak God's protection over your life. The angel of the Lord, the watches over this house, watch your going out as he watches your going in and these that have sent their prayer requests i declare them healed i declare their needs met for surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of God forever milele amen amina kwa shangwe toko siku milele This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. Thank you.